to do an amazing workout. One of my favorites that I do a lot with my clients, I have these glider things that really lift your booty, work your legs and get your booty in. And because today is full body, it's Tuesday, I really concentrate. If you haven't done one of my workouts, there's so many new people. Thank you for joining us, by the way. If you haven't done one of my workouts before, Tuesdays are always full body. Mondays, right through Sundays, all have a purpose. So you can take a look at the units, we're arranging the units. So every Monday, you can pick anything you want on a Monday if you're not able to go to the lives. Monday's all the same. So you wanna try and stay with us for a full body week workout. Everything makes sense. Everything works together for the week. And if you wanna take a day off, take a day off on a Sunday or a Wednesday if you can, um, or rearrange your week a little bit differently because Sunday and Wednesdays, we only do abdominals. For those people that are on fast track for a six pack, that's the way to do it. Okay, so today is one of my favorite ever, ever, ever. I say that for everyone, but this one is something I do with all my clients because of the tremendous amount of actual work you get on your lower body. We concentrate on full body. Uh, when we do that, we concentrate on your lower body, your, your glutes and your hamstrings and your quads are responsible for the most part, really your quads and your glutes, for your metabolism because they're the largest muscle group. And when you concentrate on those, if you want to lose weight in your arms or you want to lose it, shed a layer on, of your stomach, what ends up happening, the only way you end up doing that is if you work your lower body and then everything comes counterintuitive. You think, oh, I'll work my arms and all of a sudden my arms will get nice and thin and muscular. That doesn't happen like that. It happens that layer comes off from increasing your metabolism. Working your arms or working your abs is great, but you gotta get that layer to come off. And the best way to do that is to work your lower body, largest muscle groups. Okay, so we're gonna grab a pair of socks, okay? Put socks on both of your feet. <laughs> Make sure your running shoes come on and off pretty easy because this is a pain in the booty, but it's okay, right? It's worth it. I'm gonna put my socks on now and I'm gonna leave my right sock off. So leave your right shoe off, okay? And then put your left back on. I have no socks. I, I'm a runner and I don't like to run with socks on. Isn't that weird? I don't know why, but I don't. I don't I usually wear socks, <laughs> to be honest with you. When it's freezing cold, I put socks on. Okay guys, so. Quick before we start, just grab your leg and let's get a good stretch in your quads because we're about to beat the daylights out of you in a great way. If you guys have five pound weights, bring them with you only if, only if you have done the slides before. If you have not, please do not use weights yet, no matter how strong you are. This is a balancing act and I wanna make sure that you actually feel this first. You're gonna feel this without weights, so you don't have to worry about it. Ready, come down here, sit like this, and push that leg down. You can hang on to something here. I'm just getting used to doing it like this. I never used to. I won't be as good with this one on because I have no shoe on this foot. Again, there's no shoe on my right foot, just a sock. Well, look at that. This is why I buy these shoes. Look at that. I'm five feet tall. <laughs> makes me feel really good when these are, makes me a little taller. I think by two inches. I'll take it. All right, stretch, stretch, stretch. To get a bit more of a stretch, you can push your pelvis forward and that'll get uh, the front of your quads a little bit more and it'll hit, go right into your hip flexor. So bend here like this, sit down, right there you're gonna feel it in your booty, especially if you've been following me for the past couple of days. Uh, everybody new? This is a bit different probably than anything you've ever done, uh, but I only do what works. I'm boring as heck, I only do what works. And you know what, stick with me and you'll know what works, okay? I'm gonna come to this side, which I normally don't do. I'm gonna come to this side so you can actually see what I'm doing. For those of you that are grabbing weights, let's grab those weights. Okay, again, if you're new to this group, please do not grab weights, okay? Really, really important that you just get the fundamentals of the movement, and trust me, you'll get a good workout, okay? So I'm just gonna hold the weights right now uh, and show what it looks like without the weights. Your hands are here without the weights, you're sliding back, okay, and coming up. I'm gonna move this mat, because this mat is not slippery at all. Bye-bye, okay? Yeah, this is much slipperier, okay? So if you're without weights, okay? Your hands are here, and you're just sliding back and coming forward. Now look, I fell backwards first. This is the key with this one. You don't want to have your knee come like, and look like that. See how my knee is over my toe? What you want to do is you want to have, you want to fall back first so that your knee, look at my position. Your knee is directly over your ankle, okay? So every now and then you want to do a form check and check that out, okay? Now, again, if you've never done this before, don't bring your weights. If you have done this before, grab your weights, make this a little harder for yourself, okay? And we're not gonna do any arm curls with this because we're gonna use our weights afterwards, okay? So stay right here. Are you ready? I'm gonna, st I'm gonna start with the weights. We're going 40, 30, 20 in all these positions and you're about to see them all, okay guys? You signed up to be beaten up. 
All right, but I love you. Here we go. One and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She's feeling that in the bed, leg that's bending in the front. 30 and 10, the front leg, the stationary one. Eight, seven, should be sweating. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna count down to five and then we're gonna stay down and move that leg with no weight on it. Watch what I'm talking about, okay? Here we go, you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Come down and stay down, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Burning eight, nine, thirty, and ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, awful, five, four, an amazing way, three, two, and one. Okay, big time in the leg you were standing on. Not big time, huge time should you have felt that burn. That is Body on Fire Fitness. I can barely finish that and I'm instructing this and creating this. Okay guys, that leg should be on fire. And that's the whole point. You get past your comfort zone. Everything happens past your comfort zone. So stick with it as much as you can, okay guys? And you know what, if you're new to this, you may not be able to do all of it. That's cool because every 10 days, we repeat the same thing. So you'll see how far you've gone and how strong you are and how much you've progressed. Okay guys, same leggy, okay? Again, this one is nice and uh, solid. It's not moving. And only now we're going out. And then now when you go out, you wanna make sure that you don't go out like this again. You wanna go out with your booty back. Always lead with your booty that lifts your booty and keeps it from going south and makes it go north, okay? If you need a drink, grab it now. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Weight is just for extra weight, here we go. One, two, there's no weight on the leg that's sliding. Three, four, it makes it look like a needle nose squat, which is a one-legged squat. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, high tone, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, should be burning, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, and ten, nine, eight, on fire, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Are you ready? You're gonna keep it down and slide it back and forth. You should be burning in a great way. Here we go, you ready? Hold your weights up if you have weights. If you don't have weights, and if the weights are too much, just put them down. This is different, we have not done this before. Ready, go, not this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On the floor, ten, two, three, four. On fire, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! That booty is insane, right? How good is that? I'm in love. I am. Anything that challenges you. What that is, in essence, is an isometric. An isometric means you're holding something. You're staying contracted, and you can feel. It makes you sweat. It's insane. You don't have to jump around and be crazy all up and down with burpees and everything else to get an insane, crazy workout. It may be boring, but it works. 
Okay guys, last one on this leg that we do for 40, because we're doing this for 30, we're doing this for 20. We know, right, I mean. All right, here we go guys, you ready? Carry the weights, if you've got weights. This is a circle, okay? The circle looks like this, one, come back up, okay? We're just burning you out. <laughs> here we go, ready? One, draw a circle with your foot, two, and up, three, and up, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. When we get to 20, we're gonna switch directions. One, two, three, four. Look at your knees, not going past your toe. Five, six, seven. Make sure you recover to stand up. Eight, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> 20. Ready? Other direction. They got me a couple times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, my booty's on fire, six, and my quad, five, four, three, two, and one, wow, right, that's crazy, that one hurt my quad more than my booty, okay guys, so give it a second, now what I want you to do is I want you to pick up your weights if you have weights, if you don't have weights, use your hands without the weights for now, okay, you'll still get something out of it, um, grab two water bottles if you want something. I'll give you a few seconds. And what you're going to do is I have uneven. I'm uneven. I have one shoe on, one shoe off. And that is okay for a moment. If you want to take both shoes off because you're about to put the other one, that's fine too. Maybe to be even. Okay, are you ready? We're going to punch it out for 40. Here we go. One, two, 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 three, three. Knees are bent, okay? Abs are in. Really important that you stabilize your back, okay? Here we go. You can pick up higher than our uh, larger and heavier than fives, whatever floats your boat, okay, right now, but we are really concentrating on that lower body, getting a little bit of upper, upper body here too, it's amazing, here we go, eight, eight, nine, nine, twenty, twenty, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, squeeze your abs, nine, thirty, thirty, ten, ten, Nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, and one, one. That's excellent. Okay, guys, now let's hit your triceps. Go to the side, pull this up here, going for 40. One, make sure you lift it up. I go back and lift two, okay? Three, four, five, six, lift it up. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, make sure you lift it in the back, in the back, nine, twenty, lift it up, one, two, don't lift until you straighten, three, four, otherwise you're just swinging, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, last 10 guys, 10, nine, drop your shoulders, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ready, let's alternate here, here we go, ready? Bicep curls, squeeze your abs, bend your knees. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, go to a straight arm, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, twenty, twenty, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, Seven, seven, eight, burning out, eight, nine, nine, thirty, thirty, ten, come on, nine, punch it out, eight, or lift it up, <laughs> seven, six, woo, five, four, three, two, and one, that's excellent, put your waist down for a second, grab a drink, put your right shoe on, okay, your right shoe on. We beat the daylights out of our left foot. Now, if you did happen to do the other one, 
go ahead and just put the one up that you didn't do on. Let me see if there's anything to drink in my fridge. And there's not. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, guys, take a second, take a drink. We're gonna do the exact same thing for 40 on the other foot. And I'm gonna go this way, okay, guys? Hold your weights. If you have, if you're new and you're not holding weights, don't grab your weights now, okay? Just use your weights for when we're working uh, our arms, okay? Here we go. Ready? And we're gonna go back with the other leg, okay? Right leg is stable, right leg is really the one that we're working. All right, guys, hold your weights any way you wanna hold them. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Keep it down and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30 and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Insane. For me, this is very, very difficult. I'm already sore from yesterday, and I'm telling you that was hard as heck for me. I'm in love. It's so great when you can challenge yourself and stick with it. But always remember that your mind gives up prior to your body. So when you feel like stopping, but your technique is still on, even if you're not, like I didn't go down all the way with those ones, I actually couldn't. So even if you're, <laughs> even if you're not going down all the way or going full, full range of motion, but your technique is still good, then please don't give up, it's okay. You will have a basis of comparison for the next time that we do this. Now we've never done these with weights before for those people, so they may be the added reason that I'm having an issue, and perhaps it may be yours too, but it's challenging. I can do the other way. Let's do it this way, but we've never added those ones where you bend down and you stay down stationary. So that's a really good add-on to make this a little more difficult. Okay, are we ready? We're going off to the side. Hold your weights wherever you feel comfortable. If you're not holding weights, our hands can be on your hips. It's probably the best place for them. Okay, here we go. You ready? One, two, three. Booty is leading. Fourth. Drop your booty back, then drop your chest. Six, seven, eight. Don't think of your knee. Think of booty going back and your chest coming down, 10, one. Your chest comes down to compensate for the weight over your foot so you don't fall backwards. That's all it is. Good, six, six seven, eight, nine, easy for me to say, 10, that's 21, two, three, I'm already burning, four, I love it, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, and 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready? Stay down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's unreal. One, two. Keep on the floor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, thirty, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! I am on fire. I know you are too. It sounds like I killed my clients today, my personal clients that I went to their houses. We've been doing this one all week, and yeah, and last week too for each and anyone that all my new ones are all people that had not done this yet and each and every one of them was freaking out. So if you're freaking out right now, please know that you are not alone and it's great. It's always a good challenge, okay? Here we go. 
right? And you know, for those that are watching and not doing, and you're hearing me say that these are hard, you have to do them in order to understand the burn that happens when you, uh, when you do these isometrics, when you stay down. The movement of my leg is literally just to keep your mind from ignoring the fact that your leg and your glute is gonna fall off your body, <laughs> right? Okay guys, here we go. Now we're going to the circles. Remember, 20 one way and 20 the other. It does not matter which actual uh, way you begin. So it doesn't matter. All right, ready? Here we go down and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lower, nine, 10. One, so far so good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. And the other way, go. One, two, three, four, I forgot to come up and down, five, I gotta come up and down, six, seven, eight, that's why it was easy, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. We kinda cheated a little bit, but I'll let you get away with it, because I did it. <laughs> awesome, guys, okay, take a second, grab a drink and switch shoes, because now we're on the second half of this, we're doing all of this again, don't go away. <laughs> like, okay, goodbye, click. <laughs> okay, we're doing all this again, 4.30. Guys, I cannot tell you, you may not be running right now, okay, you may not be on a Peloton right now, you may not be in the pool right now. What you are doing right now to your muscles is increasing the density of your muscles. You're hitting new muscle fibers that probably haven't been hit before because we're staying down, we're getting deep and we're heavy. And uh, what happens here is you are resetting your metabolism, you are burning, you are completely making a fat burning machine out of yourself by working these lower halves and you're gonna feel this. You may feel it tomorrow, but you definitely should be feeling it right now. You are pumped up. This is an amazing way to get lean scalar, which is lean and muscular combined together. Um, and this is what Body on Fire is all about. It's functional training to get you lean and muscular. Long, lean, beautiful muscles. And that is health. And that's what I care about most. Okay, you ready? Here we go. And we are ready to start the next leg. And this is not gonna be pretty, everybody. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because you know what? In the end, it will be. All right, here we go. 30, are you ready? And go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, burning, four, three, two, and one. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it down. Bring it down. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Try being your heel if you can. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, whoa, four, five, six. You feel that? Seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. I can barely stand up after that, I love it. It's so intense, and it's intense where your hamstring meets your glute, which is the spot that raises your booty and sends those booties packing their bags from heading south to going north. Get lost, we don't want you falling down, we want you going up. This is the way to do it. Okay guys, take a second if you need a drink, your heart rate should be really high when you utilize the largest muscle groups. They take up so much oxygen, and so much and they have so much need that your heart rate goes higher than if you were running. My heart rate for sure, I'm a marathon runner, my heart rate right now is higher than when I run 100%. And that's a great thing, it's good, so it's good, it's like a hit. Because you're going up and you're going down, you're up and going, uh, going down. It's an amazing way to burn fat and increase your growth hormone and 100% increase your metabolism. Okay, everything's got a purpose. Okay, are we ready? Here we go guys, we're going off to the side. Hands like this if you don't have weights and hands here or here if you do. Are we ready? Okay guys, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, 
two, three, I'm sweating, four, five, six, takes a lot for me to sweat, seven, eight, nine, 20, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Stay down and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Try and lean on your heel. Eight, nine, ten. Ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Ten, nine, eight, seven, woo, six, burning five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I got to 40 last time. That's amazing. You're see your, your trainer complain? You're getting it. Unfortunately, or fortunately, when I always tell you guys this, if you're new to this group, I'm going to let you in on a trainer secret. When you see us doing something with you, I'll speak to myself. When you see me doing something with you with all my clients, and I say, okay guys, let me look at your form. I say that because I'm dying, and I don't want you to see me the way you're seeing me right now. I should be able to do everything that I'm showing. I can do it, but my goodness, I'm right there with you. It hurts. Make it real, because it is real. So I can't stop here and say, let me look at your form because I can't see you. So funny. Okay, guys, so now we're going to do the circles. But again, we have to recover. I didn't recover on the last one, but the first 20. So you're coming around and coming back up. We didn't come back up the last time. It makes it a little harder going down and back up because you have to push your weight back up. Okay, here we go, guys. You ready? Go one, two. Note the direction you're going in now. So when we switch, you, you've got it made in the shade. Ready? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Watch your knees not going past your toe. Nine, ten. Your booty's just coming out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. And other way. One. Two, three, I'm on fire. Four, five, six, oh, should we ten? Seven, eight, nine, thirty. That's fine because it doesn't really matter the directions, it matters how many times we've gone down. Very good, guys. Take off both shoes. You've completed that part. And we have one more leg left and we have some arms left, okay? We're gonna punch it out for 30. Remember, really important, bend your knees, squeeze your abs, let's go. You're gonna turn it and bring it back into hammer curl style. Okay, here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Keep your body still. Five, six, that gets your, uh, your obliques involved, which is the muscles on the side of your abdominal wall. It doesn't allow you to turn, so you have to really engage those. I have no idea where we're at. 10, 10, one, one, could be more. Sorry, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, Nine, nine, ten, ten, one, one, two, two, twenty-three, twenty-three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, thirty, thirty. Turn to the side. Are you ready? Here we go. We're doing triceps, okay? Front knees back bent, back leg is straight, and you can turn your foot up just a little bit, whatever, just to make you feel that you feel solid and balanced. Here we go. Lean forward. One, lift up, lift up, after you. straight and lift, okay? And one fluid motion. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20 and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That's very good, guys. The last one. Here is your bicep curls for 30. Make sure you go back to straight. When you straighten your arm, you actually grab that insertion that I was talking about yesterday, right here where that muscle comes up, and that gives you a nice nice uh, definition for your, excuse me, for your bicep. Okay, you ready? I don't shut up so my mouth gets really dry in a good way. Ready? Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three. Go just perfectly straight. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, 
eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Squeeze your abs, eight, eight, knees are bent, nine, nine, twenty, twenty, ten, good, nine, yes, we'll talk about it, eight, seven, that was shocking at all, six, five, I love what comes out of my mouth, four, so my adrenaline's coming, three, two, and one, that's excellent, put those weights down, put on your, which one do we do, put on your right foot, put your shoe on your right, is that right, yeah, put your foot on your right, okay, that's excellent, grab your weights again, if you have weights, don't grab your weights if you didn't, okay guys, give yourself a second, grab a drink of water if you need a drink of water, we are on the last thing for today. This is a good workout. Now, if you feel adventurous, um, you can go ahead and do a third set of 20. Um, I'm pretty sore, so I'm thinking that perhaps you may be sore as well. So I'm gonna stop uh, at 30, and perhaps you wanna go on, and if you did go on, I wanna hear about it. And I know the few people that are gonna go on, and all our new people, you never know, because you guys aren't holding weights, so perhaps uh, you may be uh, a little less challenged than I am. Um, and that way you can put that third set in for some more time. But by all means, do that if you feel like you can, okay? I'm gonna stop. All right, here we go. You ready? And we'll hold on to your weights, and let's go. One, one for 30. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ready? Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it down, get your booty out, go. One, two, three, four, five. On your heels, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, on fire, 9, 10, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ah, oh, on half of sometimes I get, I have to transfer my weight, I don't know if you got this too, and my foot gets stuck because I put weight on it, the one with the saw, I put weight on it, it gets stuck there. Oh, sometimes I just can't take it. It's so good. I'm in love with this day. Okay, are you sweaty Betty like me? Total sweaty. So I love the term sweaty Betty. I think I've been saying it my whole life. And when I went to look it up to see if I could do something with it, recently I saw somebody has a line of clothing called Sweaty Betty. And I had no idea and I think it's just brilliant and bravo to them, whoever did that, because it's such a fun name. All right, guys, are you ready? Are we ready? Let's do it. Okay. Ready, and off to the side. Last uh, leg, we have two more things left, go. One, two, three, there's no weight on that gliding leg. Four, that's why I can glide. Five, six, and if you're on tile, or if you're on your wood floor, this is a lot easier than for you, because you're gliding all over the place, unless you got a sweaty foot, and it's a little harder, just double up on your socks. <laughs> all right, here we go. This is 18, nine, 20, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Stay down. You ready? One, two, three. On your heel. Four. Put your toes up. Five, six. Let it burn. Seven. Go lower. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Unbelievable, right? So good. Now, normally, uh, next time, I want to say normally, next time, we're going to add in a pulse to that. If I can hack it, I might not be able to demonstrate it. <laughs> let me tell you, okay, pulse, let me count for you guys. Let's see what happens, okay? That's, but that's, that's a, a number one way of adding a little bit more. We end up pulsing with. Uh, in between, but we'll wait until we all catch up a little bit, meaning me. Okay, you ready guys? Here we go. 
down circles. One, let's do 15 and one, and 15 and the other two, which is how we should end the first time. Three, four, come up, five, six, seven, I almost forgot to do that. Eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one, beep, 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 going the other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, on fire, ten, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sayonara, wait. Put your, your other shoe back on so we can stretch. I am so happy. I'm never happy when the class is done. That was really hard for me. I hope you guys found that really challenging for you. If you didn't, you gotta up those weights and definitely go on to this next set of 20 and up those weights. But I'm pretty sure we all found that pretty challenging. Okay guys, grab your leg. You should be out of breath. This should've been cardio, this should've been sweating. There's other ways to do cardio, guys, and other than running and pounding on your joints or a Peloton if you don't have one or if you don't like spinning. I'm not a spinning fan. For me personally, I think it's fantastic. I just don't, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> um, but I think that all my clients have Pelotons. I think it's fantastic. It's a fantastic workout. So um, for me, uh, I run and I enjoy running. And perhaps if I had a Peloton, if I invested in one, perhaps I would like that too. Um, but just in general, you don't have to do those things. You can get just a most effective, insane workout doing this. It's insane. Heart rate goes up. You're doing hit because you're coming down. You're coming up. You are in, you're incorporating and in, 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 in dicing. Or what's the word? You're um, what's the word? You're bringing in new muscle fibers. There's a word for that. Incorporating. It's not incorporating. But either way, you're bringing in new muscle fibers, which is really helping you get the density of your muscles getting nice and hard. Which is what Body on Fire Fitness is all about. Almost an isometric. Uh, almost really coming down and, and, and recruiting. There you go. Recruiting new muscle fibers which really increases your metabolism. It's a, metabol it's a metabolic reset is what it is, where your body requires more because of the way you're working out, and then you don't give it more. You eat the way you normally have been eating, and you have a, a caloric deficit. So there's, there's a million ways to do this. This way I've been doing my entire life, courtesy of my mother, by the way, and today uh, at eight o'clock is a introduction to my mom and what she does. And if you've ever in your life wanted to see a person um, at the age of 77 that is in full top-notch shape, you're going to meet my mom. <laughs> right, you guys, have a beautiful day. So nice to see you, and I will see you soon. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to tune in tonight at 8 o'clock. Bye.